Have you ever wondered how life began on Earth? Imagine the world, barren and devoid of life, and then in the blink of cosmic time, the first single-celled organisms spark into existence. This is not a scene from a science fiction novel, but the very first chapter in the grand saga of life's evolution on our planet. The journey from these humble beginnings to the magnificent diversity we see today is nothing short of miraculous. So, buckle up folks, it's time to unravel the mystery of life's origins. So where does our story begin? It begins with the single-celled organisms, the pioneers of life on Earth. Now imagine a world around three and a half billion years ago, a world of molten rock, volcanic eruptions and no breathable oxygen. Doesn't sound like an ideal vacation spot, does it? Yet it was in these extreme conditions that the first specks of life emerged. These single-celled organisms, or prokaryotes as scientists like to call them, were the real trailblazers. They didn't need sunblock because there was no ozone layer to protect them from the sun's harsh ultraviolet radiation. They didn't need a breath of fresh air because they could survive without oxygen. In fact, they were quite the party animals, thriving off the energy from Earth's volcanic heat and chemicals. But how did these organisms come to be? That's the billion-year-old question. The most widely accepted theory is called abiogenesis, the process by which life arises naturally from non-living matter. Basically, the right cocktail of chemicals, energy, and perhaps a dash of luck sparked the formation of these first cells. These cells were very basic, nothing like the complex cells we see today. They were little bags of chemicals enclosed by a membrane with no defined nucleus or other fancy components. Yet they had all they needed to survive, grow and reproduce. Over time, they started to diversify, adapting to different environments and developing new ways of surviving. Some even learned to photosynthesize using the sun's energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into food and in the process, producing oxygen. This was the beginning of the oxygen revolution that transformed our planet from a hostile volcanic wasteland into a breathable blue marble. These tiny, simple organisms set the stage for the grand play of life's evolution. They were the first to dance on the stage of life, and their performance was so spectacular it kick-started the greatest show on Earth. So, let's give a round of applause to these miniature maestros for without them, none of us would be here today. From a single cell to a multitude of cells, life on Earth was about to take an exciting turn. Picture this. It's about one billion years ago and our planet is teeming with simple, single-celled organisms. It's a different world, one without the lavish biodiversity we see today, but change, as it often does, was on the horizon. In this era, a monumental shift was about to occur. For the first time in history, single-celled organisms began to band together, forming the first multicellular life. This was no small feat. It was akin to deciding one day to build a bustling metropolis from scratch. But nature, in all its infinite wisdom and creativity, found a way. Multicellular life was more than just a cluster of cells hanging out together. It was an intricately coordinated symphony, with each cell taking on specialized roles. Some cells became the builders, crafting the structure of the organism. Others became the workers, carrying out essential functions like digestion and reproduction. And still others became the protectors, defending the organism from external threats. This development, this leap from single-celled to multicellular life, was a game-changer in the story of evolution. It opened up a world of possibilities, paving the way for complex organisms, from plants and fungi to animals, including us humans. But why did this happen? Why did life decide to go multicellular? The truth is, we're still figuring that out. Some scientists suggest that it might have been a survival strategy, enabling organisms to withstand harsh environments, Others propose that it could have been a response to increasing competition for resources. Whatever the reason, it was a pivotal moment in life's evolutionary journey. With the emergence of multicellular life, the stage was set for a grand spectacle of biological diversity and complexity. Life was no longer a solo act, it was a coordinated ensemble, ready to take on the challenges of existence in new and innovative ways. A new era of complexity and diversity was about to unfold. The planet was on the brink of a biological revolution, one that would forever change the face of life on Earth. The scene was set for the next act in the grand drama of evolution. A fasten your seatbelts, we're heading into the Cambrian period, a time of rapid evolution and diversity.
Imagine a world that's been dominated by simple, single-celled organisms for billions of years. Now picture an evolutionary burst where, within a relatively short span of time, the world's oceans become teeming with a bewildering variety of complex, multicellular life. Welcome to the Cambrian Explosion, a pivotal period around 540 million years ago when most of the major groups of animals first appeared in the fossil record. In a geological blink of an eye, life's diversity skyrocketed. This period saw the emergence of the first large complex organisms and the first animals with hard shells. It was a time when the ancestors of many of today's animal groups came into existence. But what led to this sudden burst of life? Well, it's a question that has puzzled scientists for centuries. One theory proposes that a rise in atmospheric oxygen levels provided the necessary fuel for the development of more complex organisms. Another theory suggests that the evolution of the first predators triggered an arms race, prompting prey species to evolve more complex structures for protection. There's also a theory that the Cambrian explosion was not an explosion at all. Instead, it was simply the first time that organisms had hard parts that could fossilize, making it appear as though there was a sudden increase in diversity. Whatever the cause, the Cambrian explosion stands as one of the most important episodes in the history of life on Earth. During this period, life experimented with a plethora of forms and structures, many of which were evolutionary dead ends, while others laid the groundwork for future evolutionary success. From the simple beginnings of single-celled organisms, life had taken a giant leap towards the complex and varied world we know today. The Cambrian period truly was a time of evolutionary innovation. From the ocean's depths, life was poised to conquer every corner of the globe setting the stage for the fascinating journey of life that continues to unfold. Now let's venture into the Mesozoic era, the age of dinosaurs. In the grand tapestry of Earth's history, the Mesozoic era stands out as a time of giants, a world dominated by creatures so colossal and so varied that they capture our imaginations even today, the dinosaurs. But before these titans could rule the Earth, another significant event took place, the rise of vertebrates. The story of vertebrates is one of evolution's greatest triumphs. These creatures, characterized by their internal skeleton made of bone or cartilage, first appeared in the form of small fish-like organisms in the oceans of the Paleozoic era. Over millions of years, these early vertebrates evolved, giving rise to a diverse array of species, from the mighty dinosaurs to the tiniest hummingbirds. The Mesozoic era, commonly known as the Age of Dinosaurs, was a time when these vertebrates truly came into their own. The dinosaurs, in all their diverse forms, were the undisputed rulers of the land. They ranged from the towering long-necked sauropods, the largest animals to ever walk the earth, to the fierce and fast tyrannosaurs. The skies were ruled by the pterosaurs, the first vertebrates to achieve powered flight, while the seas were home to massive marine reptiles. But as we all know, this age of giants was not to last. Around 65 million years ago, a catastrophic event, likely a massive asteroid impact, led to a mass extinction that wiped out about three quarters of all species on Earth. The dinosaurs, despite their size and dominance, could not survive this calamity. The reign of dinosaurs ended, but life on Earth was far from over. The stage was set for a new group of vertebrates to ascend to dominance, the mammals and eventually us humans but that's a story for another time. For now, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer wonder and diversity of life during the Mesozoic era, a time when our world was ruled by creatures straight out of our wildest dreams. The reign of dinosaurs ended, but life on Earth was far from over. Life's grand play was ready for its next act, the rise of mammals and eventually humans. Following the grand exit of dinosaurs from Earth's stage, mammals, those warm-blooded, milk-producing creatures took their cue to step into the spotlight. They started small, scurrying in the shadows of dinosaurs, but with the dino drama out of the way, mammals began to grow in size and complexity. Fast forward a few million years and a new kind of mammal started to appear. This mammal was a bit different from the rest. It walked on two legs, had opposable thumbs and an unusually large brain for its size. Yes, we're talking about humans. Humans, or Homo sapiens as we like to call ourselves, were just another species of mammals until about 70,000 years ago. That's when something remarkable happened. Our species developed the ability to think symbolically, invent complex tools, 
and communicate through language. With these abilities, we began to change our environment in ways no other species could. We built societies, cultures and civilizations. We mastered fire, invented the wheel and eventually we even figured out how to put a man on the moon. Our impact on Earth has been profound, shaping its biosphere and leaving a mark that will be visible for millions of years to come. And so, here we are, the latest chapter in life's incredible journey. What a journey it's been from single-celled organisms to complex life forms. We've traveled through epochs, witnessing the birth of multicellular life, the Cambrian explosion's diversity, the rise of vertebrates and the reign of dinosaurs. We've seen mammals take the stage, culminating in the arrival of us humans. It's a tale spanning billions of years, yet it's far from over. Life on Earth, a story billions of years in the making and still being written. We're all part of this incredible journey, so let's cherish and protect our shared home.